Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. We're back again. Back again. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. We've tried, y'all. We've tried. The last time we came to y'all, we were talking about our life updates and you know, like what 2020 has for us and all that kind of stuff. So we wanted to kind of circle back to one of the points that we talked about, which was Mark's transition out of corporate America. So it's going to be a lot about his experience in this video as we mask. So we're going to first start off with toner. Today we are using the Youth to People Kombucha and AHA Exfoliating Power Toner. I'm obsessed with this. That's the same one we used last time, right? The same one. That never got That's filmed. the same one. I thought we filmed that one. We that was oh. the failed attempt. Oh, okay. What's on your head? It's a headband yeah. to keep my hair back. Really, really love this toner. And I'm actually using these little pads here from Shiseido, which are like... Shiseido? Yes. Shiseido. They are 100% cotton and they are a bit better on your skin than like your average like two dollar cotton swabs these were like 12 bucks at sephora for like a ton of them i don't even know like probably over 100 but um they serve kind of like a better purpose and functionality so you actually hold it in between these three fingers like this so that whenever you're brushing it up against your skin it's literally just that this part right here that's pulling the product up or, you know, into your skin, up, up I, and away. I didn't even touch your face yet. I'm just making I, sure. I, oh, you I got was some, taking notes. You got some fuzz. There you go. I'm just not a lefty. Let me, let me go to my right. Yes, there you go. Use your, use your strong hand. Yeah, I got it right. Now so, that we're done with toner, yeah. also this is super great for brightening as well. If you have dark circles, the number one or number two things you need to think about is exfoliating, getting rid of the dead skin to let your new skin come through. So you want to exfoliate and then you want to pump it with moisture. That will help your, your skin cells kind of rejuvenate and start going. You also want to find ways to like create blood circulation in your face. That's also a way to like promote collagen and basically get that new skin coming out. So if you feel like your skin is dull and you need, you just like look like meh, get some blood pumping in there, get some exfoliation happening, moisture, and it'll start to really build back your, like build up your skin again and kind of give it that youthful glow. So. Okay then girl, you go girl. So the next step is our actual mask. So today we are using the Murad Intensive C Radiance Peel. Okay, we're doing a peel today. Now with peels, they're a little bit more on the intense side. So just be careful when you use peels, especially like really high power active peels, which is, this is one of those peels. Um, I actually haven't used this one before, but I've had it in my arsenal of skincare products. And I've been wanting to try it. So I'm gonna put this on Mark first, and then he's gonna start telling y'all about what it's been like. Or I guess first start off by, yes, we know you left corporate America. Yes. But yes, what yes. were the reasons? This is for okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I won't get all the way into it. I think that um, I was actually talking to somebody that still works um, at said corporation. And I was telling, like, she knew me for a while, and I was telling her um, that basically one of the reasons why I hadn't, you know, really shared it openly via social yet is because over the last probably year or so, I've definitely been, how do I say this? I've been, I've been in a rough place there. And not from, like, things that I was doing, but from, things that I couldn't control. Um, and as we all know, being black in corporate America, you already have to work, you know, at least twice as hard as your counterparts to, you know, get anywhere. So over the last few years, it's been tough and I didn't want to come out and talk about that experience yet because I've had, I've met so many great people. I've had so many great experiences and well before I was with that company, I'd had a passion for it from things that that company didn't necessarily contribute to. 
it was from experience, life experiences and experiences with my friends and sneaker culture and all these things that led me to feel the way about it that I felt. And I didn't want to come off negatively um, by talking about my exit. However, um, man, like I've worked with some dope people and I've learned so many things there. And over the last 10 years of my life has been special. I broke down barriers. I've worked on some amazing product. I've worked on some amazing experiences. I've been able to share that experiences with people I grew up with and in the communities that I grew up in and with. So yeah, um, why I left, I won't go too deep into it, but it was very much so, it was very much so, I'm trying to be, like you did not feel well, like well I can I can say that I can say number one creatively um and that was definitely a blessing in disguise because that's what led me to start dying I'm trying to because I don't want it to be a negative thing at the end of the day it is that's a part of it you got to be honest about that like you got to be honest about the fact that it was like you wouldn't have left if it wasn't negative got it so like I I feel like He's struggling to express the experience and like the exit because I know that he has, he still has love for the company and still has an appreciation for what the company and what the product has meant to him his whole life, right? But that doesn't mean that he didn't experience negative things while working at said company okay like office culture is so separate from the end product from a consumer experience that they can both be true if that makes sense like i think it can be true that you have love for what the company has meant to you in your life and at the same time feel a type of way about the way you were treated yeah, while yeah, yeah. in that office culture yeah. company culture that's your fair. experience is valid that's fair like the the product that was created the people most of the people that I worked with I think I think check um, it was very much so evident that I was one of the few that actually cared about the end use and who the product was for and our reason for being everything else was was you know office politics and one thing about office politics especially coming from where I've come from we don't get a class in that mm -hmm. there's not a class in how to play the game there's not a class in how to rub this person's ego the right way to get them to do what you want them to do they had the opposite experience so now you put those two things in a pot and there's gonna be an explosion because right. I'm coming from a place of I'm not gonna have a side conversation. I'm gonna go talk to the source. Right. I'm not gonna to to you know quote unquote email track and keep a paper trail. If I have an issue with you or if I have something that needs to be resolved, let's talk about it. Right. Mark had to exit because Sarah has woken up. Y'all already know this is our usual routine. Uh, Hi, mommy. Hi. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. You had a short nap. Very short. We thought you were gonna sleep longer. Okay. That's all right. I think that is something that happens to so many people of color especially because there is a sense of social capital and conditioning that most people go through in order to succeed in corporate America. Yeah. Those are not natural abilities. Those are not, you don't naturally know how to play the game of office politics and of, you know, what are the right ways to strategically get to what you want to happen while also maintaining like a level of professionalism while also understanding that professionalism almost comes with like this undertone of passive aggressiveness aka per my last email all of those skills are learned um they're learned and i feel like when many people of color or anyone who comes from a background that isn't, you know, incredibly privileged. It's the same reason why 
the SATs and standardized testing can be skewed um, for specifically students of color. It's because it's based on it's cultural identity. understandings that are actually not universal. And I, I would just say like from a, just from my specific, you know, um, experience, it was more so, it was more so my blackness mm -hmm. and not just my blackness in me being black, but my blackness and being able to translate that into if we go out and we have a focus group or we're, we're just in the marketplace, Mark's being able to walk up and talk to people. Mark's being able, especially that black kid that's buying the product. Right. He's able to build a connection and then pull out that insight to create better things. He's able to stand in front of a group of people and give a pre give an impactful presentation. Mm -hmm. And it was like those things to where the more I did well, yeah, the more resistance I was feeling. You were literally in, in every situation, in like from the from yeah. the from my first ever project. And the thing about corporate America is, honestly, there's a lot of great people that work in it mm -hmm. that have to change to survive. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. It's like. You have to recognize when, if you're operating in your star power, because I believe that's what you were doing, your ability to connect with people, your ability to, to not be afraid to walk up to some random person and ask them questions and start a conversation and be honest and open. Like, I love those people. Are, yeah, like, like, I love people. That's your, that's your star power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're in a place where... They can't harness it. Not, not even just can't harness it, but it just doesn't fit. Yeah. Like it, the culture in that point. place just isn't built to support your star power, then you need to find a different place to operate your star power in. And I do believe that we all have our breaking points where it was like, okay, mm -hmm. like God, I hear you. Mm -hmm. This ain't gonna work. It was just getting, it was getting to a point where it was just like negative feedback after negative feedback to the point where it was like, wait a second. Now it's been so much negative feedback that I'm questioning like my own purpose and like my own abilities and like what you know your strengths to be. They were all slowly but surely said that's not a strength, that's a weakness. When you when you knew as a person like what your strengths were. So I, I saw this quote not too long ago and it was like it was something to the effect of the hardest people to manage are usually the most talented. And that's because people with differing experiences and insights and ideas are not conventional. So you can't use the same kind of standard method same, of like there's no, there's no doing blueprint. right there's to no like blueprint. operate with especially creative people. Yeah. And I feel like corporate America is really built on standardization and being able to say we have this protocol and we follow this protocol. Basically, period. this is the box. I'm gonna put you in that box, right. and this is a box. But which that works wasn't for even, some people. Yeah. Which works and that wasn't for some even, people. But that that wasn't even the. <laughs> That that was the part that I've just been dealing with, you know, really since coming to Oregon. That I, that was that point. Once you add in everything else that I had to deal with on top of the everyday nonsense, mm -hmm. with the the um, disrespect, like all these things, you put that on. That's what made me eventually um, stop um, her with my fiance fast and and finally obey God mm -hmm. in leaving. And leaving no matter what because there were opportunities where I could have come back yeah and I could have made more money all those things and I was like shout out to one of my good friends brothers Jeremy Smith he was um, an angel like during this process because even in my lowest moment when it would have been easy to just give in and stay and um, 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 adjust or assimilate to, yeah. to, to what they wanted me to do. Which you could have done. Which I could have done. Right. He reminded me but what the guy said. Right. And we had a conversation before about me leaving. This was before it got, you know, the heat was turning up even more. And yeah. I was just telling him I've been praying and I think that like that's what God is calling me to do. 
And he didn't forget that. So fast forward when I'm talking to him about, hey, I'm about to leave. And, you know, they kind of threw a Hail Mary. And this is what they're offering. And he's like, but what did God say? Yeah. Then when the investigation that they started on my behalf finally went through and was finished and they came back, he's like, what did God say? Mm -hmm. So at that point, I'm like, okay, I can't come back no matter what. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Just, 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 and I don't want people to like, I don't want people to have a, you know, kind of grudge or anything for me or about my situation. I, oh, so hey. I don't yeah. want, I don't want it to feel yeah. like we're saying like, we no longer support this company. We know, listen, we're still wearing <laughs> the company's products. Not only that, like we have, we're still doing again, it. We have friends and family yeah, that are still, that, in, like, yeah. And they have We're their own experiences that. Yeah. that like they can share if they do or don't and it has nothing to do with that. Right. Like, we we believe We understand the siloed aspect of yes. his experience. Yes. We understand yes. that it's not about like just throwing the whole thing away. Yes. It's about recognizing where you know what what can you control and what can't you control? What he can control is where he brings his gifts, where he puts his energy, and that company became uh, like a like a like a leech. Like it was just sucking the life out of him. Oh, like four people. <laughs> like four people. And it wasn't it wasn't anything that was there for building him up anymore. You know, got Bolt Inc. has started. Um, yeah. Beige wearing one of the pieces. Yeah. Um, and like this is where I will essentially like God bolt, and I'll tell this story at some time I'm sure, but God bolt for me since I was born, it was very hard. It was it was hard in so many ways. Um it was different. I didn't understand it. it the names, the name. The name, like God bolt. Yeah. Um people would, would, you know, mess it up and it it would just be rough growing up. I was bullied all that. Fast forward, um, well, during this process, also, the man that gave it to me is not around. So, all of this is going, and I try to change it when I was younger, and my stepdad wouldn't allow me to. And him not allowing me to was because he knew that I would grow up and realize how special it is, and, and also realize that I have the power to make it whatever I want it to be. So like now having children, um, now having this amazing woman to bear it very, very soon, it became about being excited about it, celebrating it, um, rebranding it to be something special. And more and more people have like come along and everybody has their different interpretation of what it means, which I freaking love. And we're just gonna ride with it, tell great stories on great product yeah. with amazing quality. Yeah. And yeah. Like get you some God bolt. Right now it's all about die by bolt, as you can see. Mm -hmm. But there's so much more to come, and I'm just excited about the journey, and definitely excited to have you guys come along as well. So we're gonna wipe our masks off now, um, and then yeah, finish up the rest of our skincare routine before we head out. All right. So how does your skin feel? Um, it's like um, it feels like very like, icy. Cool, right? Yes, Breathe. that's a good thing. Breathe. Yes, Breathe. that's a good thing. I also will say that I can feel it actually like activating on our, my skin because it kind of tingled a little bit. See, you gotta always use the like she describes skin products like Guy Fieri on kind of Travis and Dives. Like she goes, uses all the the great words. That's like, what you're supposed I to do. Tingling sensation. It's, but that's what happened, and now it's like <laughs> cooling. Which is good, because I was a little nervous. Some peels are just like really intense. And so you can feel a little like really like active on your face, just like really sensitive. And I don't feel that way right now. So that's a good thing. Either. Yeah. That's a great thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? Go buy so all this, y'all. Go buy all. Especially so, the kombucha, okay? Hush, hush, hush. Murad, no, just hush, hush. Fresh, shout out just all hush. Out, okay? okay, hush. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add in our essence. I, Y'all know, I, I'm extra as hell with my skincare. Um, but oh, I'm oh, really... Oh, 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 what? I'm extra. What else? As hell? 
stops dead. Don't just say about my skincare. I'm, guys, I'm extra as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Singing, like that. whatever. That's what it is. It's not just skincare. <laughs> I hate just. I'm a very like when I commit to something, I commit. Okay, so I'm very committed to just like healthy things right now, and especially when it comes to like my beauty routine. I'm really like into it because I just know that it's gonna pay off when I'm older, and just in general, like using cleaner products in general, just is like a good thing. So I'm trying to like kind of migrate to like clean beauty um, 100% I'm not all the way there but I'm trying to do more things that um, just have yeah just have a little bit more kind of intention behind them so we're using this black tea kombucha essence from fresh I've used this for a long time um, it's really one of those things where you use it to treat and also protect your skin from pollution, which is just something that is only gonna become more and more of a thing for our skin. Um, and it also just like supercharges your skin with really nice things that give you like a beautiful glow. And if Jay Kendall's hands all the tools to put it on your face, oh my God. that's a bonus. Our next step is serum. And we're gonna be using from the Fresh Vitamin Nectar line, which is their vitamin C line, their Glow Juice Face Serum. And it's just gonna be, again, treatment for the skin, prepping the skin for the rest of your day, whatever you have to do. Vitamin C is just great for, you know, brightening, even skin tone. It really wakes your skin up. And I'm just gonna so pack very this. Natural. Right? <laughs> it is. Natural the Vitamin Nectar line from Fresh is honestly probably my favorite favorite line from them it's just uh, it's just such a it, it, it i just love it for uh, many reasons i just can't even i can't even i can't even explain i just because it just smells so good and i know that it's actually doing really great things it smells you. like green juice that's what it doesn't like. it smell healthy yeah it smells like green juice yeah like, if you have green juice from anywhere you know it has it just has a smell like yeah. that's how it smells Bless you. You. Then we're gonna stick with our vitamin C vibe. We're gonna be using the Ole Hendrickson C Rush Brightening Gel Cream as our moisturizer. And I've been using actually the girl. <laughs> I've actually been using the cleanser uh, from this collection as well in the shower. Amazing, so good. Um, See, now, what I will say, though, the difference between, like, the Vitamin Nectar line from Fresh and this product line is this product line has more of, like, that artificial vitamin C, like, orange scent, which I'm not mad at. Um, it's just a different, like, preference, I think. Uh, but the Vitamin Nectar line actually has, like, a really, like you said, fresh, like, healthy scent. So if you are someone that likes more natural things um definitely choose fresh they've got a whole their whole line has moisturizers and stuff but i really also like this line from ole henriksen <laughs> and this one is like a gel cream so it's also going to kind of give us that cooling vibe that we want since we just did that peel and if you're someone that doesn't like like you tend to get oily um Gel moisturizers are your friend because they usually have less kind of oil and things in them. But I love face oil and like oils on my face, so I'm not one of those people. But just you know, for those out there that are she's about to get mad at me because I don't want her to get it. I feel like I always no, get she's... put in the tough positions. I have to be the one that says no. That's or, not true. Uh -huh, that's very true. I tell her no. You do the same thing with both. Like, yeah. I would say like, hey, let's not give both that. He shouldn't eat that. Blah blah blah. I and don't I'd wonder, do that. I'd wonder why he would always be near her. Oh. Because she would just like okay, slip yes. them stuff that he ain't supposed to have. Okay, yeah, I get that. I have to be the one that that's the best. Like I'm the bad guy, and with Bo and with Sarai, it's like daddy's the bad guy. Cause mama literally lets. I don't let everything goes. I don't. No, I don't. Transition. And I'll be faster on transition. The transition and. Um, being very honest and open, um, it's tough. It's tough mentally, it's tough physically. Um, 
I would say mentally is the hardest part because you go from having so many rules and you go from having an idea or an insight and having to prove why not so much to where you get to a point where I'm sitting there trying to prove, like being my own devil's advocate of like, okay, why can't this work? Or why wouldn't this work, etc. When then it clicks like, yo, you can do whatever you want. It's yours. Yeah. You can launch when you want. Yeah. The image is what you want. Yeah. You can be inspired by what you want. But, but that, that's really, it's really a mindset change. It's, yeah. it's really a shift because like obviously the human body changes and it adapts to the situation that it's in and your mind is probably one of the most adapting things pretty much at all times. Mm -hmm. So that's been a hardest transition. Like, I think it was like what, last Saturday? Had a breakdown. Had a breakdown like on the floor, like crying, trying to figure it out because there's just so much and I'm a perfectionist and I want to have a vision and I want things to look and look and feel a certain way. But you got to start. Yep. And I'm still learning that. Like once yep. you start, starting won't be you in life. Wherever you finish should be better than where you start. But we get, when you're a visionary, you see the vision, you get so tied to that, to where you kind of skip all the steps in between of like, no, before you can get to that, God either shows you the mountain mm -hmm. and not the road, or the road and not the mountain. Before I can get to that mountain, there's a road and I have to trust God and take those steps to get it to where it should be. Right. So yeah, transition's been tough, but, yeah. but I've been, you know, praying and fasting and like I told y'all last video, Bay, <laughs> like Bay, um, you know, sat through me crying and and boohooing and, and helped me basically get back up to continue. Yeah. So, yeah, like make sure you got a support system around you. Yeah. Make sure you stay close to the family and yeah. friends that you know that regardless of what you do, like they're gonna be there for right. you. Right. And and don't be and don't be so quick to think that you have to do everything by yourself. That's a yeah. Um, it's like a weird conundrum when you're an entrepreneur, like you realize that everything's on your shoulders, whether you eat, whether you pay your bills, what decisions are being made as far as your business goes, like everything is on you. But it's also important to recognize that, yeah, maybe your support system's name isn't on your thing, but they are so important and vital in you being the best you in order to do your best with whatever that you actually do. And so for me, I can understand from a real place like what it takes to support someone who's like doing something on their own for the first time and not really knowing the ins and outs. But guess what, y'all? Most people don't know what they're doing either. Bet. <laughs> like, news flash. Most of us, and even the ones that say they got a plan, like that plan is only valid to a certain extent because life, because anything could happen, because at any point things could shift. The only thing that is constant in life is change. I forgot who said it, but somebody said that every, everybody got a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> what? Like, baby. I think it was in boxing terms, but it was like, yeah, like you may have a plan, like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, drag it eight rounds and yeah. hope you get tired and I'm gonna go, or whatever. But then you get knocked, you get punched in the face, you know, shoot, okay, I gotta go for a different plan. But all in all, y'all. All in all, I have to say that. Why? I think you actually told me I'd said it before no, in a video. I, didn't. I feel like I promise you did. No. At the end of the day. <laughs> 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 At the end of the day. It's just a matter of, you know, always evaluating why you are where you are. Especially our age, like we're young enough to like make different choices, but we're also old enough to understand that like there's a time and place for everything and what you've been doing for a few years is never a waste of time. It's just a matter of like lessons learned Life so that you can move. Yeah, so that it you can is, move forward. Is. So even if you're in a place where you're like, I'm not getting anything from this, okay, then you learned that lesson of what it feels like to not be fulfilled. Normally you need pain for change. Mm -hmm. So embrace it, lean into it. And yes. on the other side, it's greatness. 
On the other side, is on the other side. Let them know, mama. Your skin looks bomb right now. Oh, it does? Yes. All right, y'all. Until next time, we will see you in the next masculine chatting video. Bye. Bye.